All right, this time we're going to make a hole in a very, very odd looking part. Okay, just to show you how that works. If I take the vertice and scale this in, I can make a pyramid. Okay. And in this pyramid, I want a hole in the center, a round hole. I'm doing this because there is a bug within Maya that sometimes shows up, and I want to kind of show you what that bug looks like. So in this case, I want to take the edges of the pyramid and brace them so they don't collapse in on themselves. And if I hit three, it looks like this. Okay. Now all I do is have to worry about where the hole begins and ends. In this case, I'm going to make an edge loop here to here, and this is where the hole's going to be. Okay, I'm going to take this face and extrude it, and extrude it so there's an edge loop on the face, just like that. And the other side, I'm going to try to closely match that same thing. Okay, now what I can do here is delete this face and delete this face and I now have a hole through the center but what I need is a conduit that goes through here so this leads me into the next tool that I get to show you it is called bridge so what I'm going to do is take one edge highlight it the other edge highlight it and then go edit mesh bridge square box I'm going to turn this division level down to zero that way it only makes one face I'm going to repeat that process. So edge, edge, apply. Edge, edge, apply. Also, you can go edge, edge, G on the keyboard, which is last command. That's a, just a faster way to do it. Keep note, though, that this is incorrect. The reason for this is if I hit three, I get this. A lot of pinching and a lot of distortion. The reason for that is Maya has a bug in it that does not allow these two vertices to mend ever. Okay, so let me show you this. If I need to weld vertices together, I just highlight the vertices in the area and go into mesh, no, edit mesh, merge. But you'll see no significant change if you hit three. Let me show you how to work this. Go to Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Make sure you turn on OBJ Exporter. It's just down below here, right here, OBJ Exporting Bundle. Okay, once you have that on, you can now export OBJs. Duh, because that's the name of it. But uh, File, Export Selection. And I'm going to export this to the desk desktop and call it Fix Me. Okay, down below, way below, you'll see OBJ export and Fix Me. I'm going to replace this. Oftentimes I'll have a Fix Me file out there because this bug shows up all the time. So, File, Import, and I'm going to import Fix Me. Okay, here's the fixed item, and what I'm going to do is show you the difference between them side by side. Three on the keyboard, three on the keyboard. Notice how the inside is mashed on this unit. Notice how the edge loop is perfect on this one. Okay, let me go a step further into this and show you exactly what happens. If I try to insert an edge loop on right this one, it will not work. It will only insert an edge loop in this area. If I try to insert an edge loop on this one, it works perfectly. That is how you make a hole in a weird object. In some cases, you're going to have to export it as an OBJ and then re-import it back into Maya in order for it to work correctly. In this case, you see the hole is perfectly round. In this case, it will never be round. All right. So that is the last thing I have to show you as far as putting holes in objects. Uh, we'll get maybe into a little bit more um, trickery in the next videos.